Hell yeah. So, I started planning out my build. <clears throat> so I can keep stuff in there for the future. See if I can get this thing uploaded here. <clears throat> Let's get this on window capture. So looking on window capture here. Which it is kind of out of sync. Exactly. <clears throat> so I'll just pull it out like this. Let's get this window pulled up. <clears throat> How visible my cursor is yet? Yes, but um, ideally you're gonna want a, a uh, plus two, convoking one. The best prefix is minions still increase damage, other than the two gem prefixes. If you get all three of those, you, you're, you're in the gold. You're pretty much golden. Because then you can always... Uh, <clears throat> craft prefixes cannot be changed and scour or whatever, whatever, whatever you need to do, you know. With Solo Cell found on these, these are kind of hard to craft, Solo Cell found. Like, <clears throat> and you can, but it's not the end of the world difficult. You just have to find... Uh, the right fossils to craft, and even then it might take 10 to 20 times. <clears throat> With these tower shields, life gain when you block is the most important stat, and then you want life and increased armor. You can, you can craft these with pristine fossils. The problem with doing that is uh, when you use pristine, you can't roll uh, defenses. So then you can't get increased armor. So I like rolling these with harvest. Life and more life. Because then you can get a lot of armor on this thing, on this guy too. And this guy right here is a theoretical. I pretty much made this as godly as I could, I guess, for what I'm looking for. So life gain, max life gain on block, max chance to block. Max all elemental res, max life, max static armor, and max percent armor in life. So this thing is like really fucking ridiculously good. This thing is packed to the brim. Getting over 1600 armor on this thing. Pretty fucking donkulous, dude. Yeah, we got up, we up the quality on it. Chance to block is 38% on this shield. Like, this is like a shield that you wouldn't have in SSF, I don't think. But you can get really close to this. <clears throat> you could get a thousand fairly, fairly easy. I mean, 1600. That's when you've really stomped it. 
uh, bone helmet. <clears throat> SSF, it's harder to get an elder bone helmet. That's why I just have elder. I mean, you ideally you want shaper and elder base, and you want one with, or you can, or you can, uh, you know, you want one hypothermia and one minion damage, or one hypothermia, one minion life, or whatever. Um, I'll just keep it simple, keep it simple, stupid, and just go with elder because of the elder and shaper of the two. I'd rather have elder for melee skeletons because of that minion damage. And I'll take that minion damage and then support it with Immolate. So that's kind of that's kind of uh, kind of nice. Even though Immolate doesn't do much for zombies cuz we're going to put zombies in here. It's still, you know. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Let me just pull up a little cheat sheet I made. Window capture. Word pad. Okay. So, I've got the trigger one. Let's just go through these real quick. So, you use an eye level 84 convoking wand. You could potentially get the highest tier of increased minion damage. Corroded, jagged, metallic, shuddering fossils. Till you hit plus one spell skill gems and plus one minion. Prefixes. You're hoping to get increased minion damage as your third prefix. If not, do not worry. That's kind of rare, and you cannot target augment, augment it with harvest. Next, you're hoping for an empty suffix so you can bench craft the trigger suffix. If you do not have an empty suffix, it's best to use harvest, craft, reforge, keep prefix. Keep prefixes. Keeping prefixes, excuse me. So you can use harvest craft to keep prefixes uh, and re-roll it. The best final product, ideally, you would want to use. Uh, you would want to have two minion suffixes plus a bitch uh, crafted suffix. To do this, you can craft prefixes cannot be changed using your bitch scour, removing all suffixes, then aug augment the item with augment life and augment speed, and I hope both suffixes are minion. So you can use harvest to augment after you uh, scour. To hope you get. To hope you get. Uh, both minion rolls. So that would be probably the perfect one. Would be plus one, plus one. Perfect increased damage. Perfect increased max life. And then perfect increased uh, attack and cast speed. With uh, one empty suffix to craft a trigger socket spell when you use a skill for your trigger one. That's pretty much the perfect one. Uh, this isn't too bad to craft. If you can get a lot of these fossils, and uh, <clears throat> another downside is you cannot purchase the four uh, socket resonators. As you know, you cannot purchase them. So for solo cell found, you know, for trade league, it's no big deal. You can just purchase a bunch of them and try to re-roll this. This is not hard to roll on trade league. On solo cell found, you know you're. Your limiting factor is finding those resonators because you can use heists to get the fossils i mean there's a lot of ways you can get the fossils so the resonators are kind of a limiting factor because the resonators i think you're pretty much stuck to doing delve which if you really love delve this is great uh, fossils is good for crafting a lot of our stuff for the for the wand it's good for crafting uh the helmet I'm not going to read all this word for word, but you can get the plus plus three minion helmet. Uh, if you want life, leave off dense fossils. So you can roll with just bound fossils or bound plus dense plus pristine. That would be the fastest route probably for the plus three. But you're going to want life, so you have to leave dense off. So I would say bound or bound plus pristine. And then if you want the two links... Uh, I mean, you can go bound plus sanctified plus shuddering for rolling both on an elder helm. You're pretty much <clears throat> wanting to compute best selection for what you want. Pick what you want. 
So all in all, you can go bound, dense, fasted, plus pristine for minion damage, plus immolate on a six link elder base. This is better than the one in your life because then your helmet can have plus two maximum life. Yes, that's another thing I ran into with this helmet is, if you have the minion life, I would rather have the minion life and the minion damage, but if you have those two, I mean, the plus three is a prefix. So if you have those two, you can't get life on it. You can't get maximum life. So so you go with one or the other. So I go with uh, <clears throat> plus three, minion damage, and emulate. Which, to be honest with you, I'd be fine if I just got... I'd be fine just having a good plus three, not even having an elder helmet. Because you got to think solo self out. I have to find this eye level 86 base, and it has to be elder. Finding that on SSF, on SSF will be a nightmare. You have to do a lot of, probably doing a lot of really juiced elder maps, tier 16. Doing abysses where you can get high eye level stuff. Uh, just doing a lot of content and it has to be level 86 too so it has to be strong boxes a bit rolling strong boxes running abysses etc uh, even going in vowel side areas to hope for stuff I'd say strong boxes would be really good to find this stuff you can get a strong box every map uh, through certain passive so I mean there's you know abyss every map or you can get a harbinger every map of course that's not going to help as much if you don't care about level 86, then this will be a lot easier to get. Still wouldn't be easy. But you really have to have the 86 for the plus 3. I, I forgot about that until just now. You have to have 86 for plus 3. Pl anything less than 86 is plus 2. To make this simple, if you just want a plus 2 or plus 3, just roll it with bound fossils, basically. Or you can just roll it in random harvest stuff. Uh, by the way, rolling this perfectly with all the best stuff is probably going to cost you what on the low end 900 chaos with 60 plus percent standard bearer, 60 70 percent standard bearer. So that is a really really hard to perfect on solo stuff found with this helmet. Of course, then you can find Ashes of Stars. I find this to be fairly easy. Because I kind of like running Eater World stuff anyway, because you just get a lot of quantity from it. <clears throat> it's about a 1 in 4 chance to drop. Best in slot amulet, plus 1 of spell gems, plus percent quality added to spell gems. Unbelievably good. Yes, this boosts your damage a lot. This boosts your damage a fucking shit ton. Probably more than... The only thing better than this... For damage is obviously the one, the plus two one. But even, even then, like all the adding all the quality to all the spell gems, yeah, everything, your offense and defense just blows up. Unbelievably, this amulet, really good amulet. You could easily lose. Oh, you could lose a huge chunk of damage just from having. You lose like 10 to 15k per skill. Yeah, yeah. I, you just see, you you just gain a lot of damage with that. Two and set rings. We're gem starved. It's kind of hard to roll these rings. Best ring would be a delve unset ring with minion damage. So you can find this in delve. You can find in delve a ring with minion damage and craft on top of it. <clears throat> you can also essence craft. I think you can essence craft minion damage. 
Uh, the next best thing would be crafting speed, crafting movement speed, bench crafting it. So you just get life plus resistances. Make sure you have an open suffix to craft movement speed. Or if you don't care about that, you can just craft a suffix or life. That would be the easiest way. Like the first unset ring you're gonna want, you could probably alt spam it and get a life and a resistance or two resistances and regal and then just craft either life or resistance, whatever you need. So you just have like one life and two resistances. That's The easiest way you'd have a, you'd have a life, two resistances, and your fourth affix would be just whatever you end up with randomly. So you could all spam it until you find tier three or higher life, and then another affix, and then regal it to get a third affix. Uh, and hope that affix is a resistance. Or you could get a resistance uh, and regal it and hope to get <clears throat> another resistance or a life and then craft, if you get a resistance, craft a life. You just have to get two out of three, basically. And I can show you an example of that real quick. I wouldn't craft the rings though. I would just find the rings and then hope, hopefully it has an empty suffix. But if you wanted to craft the rings, if you want to go very basic with gear in this game, uh, you can all spam stuff. Now you can also roll with pristine. I mean, if budget is not an option, you can roll with pristine, prismatic, plus chosen element fossil. So, chosen element, so frigid, or something like that, so... <clears throat> uh, what? Yeah, this is, a lot of this stuff's common knowledge, though, really, but... So, I can go into Craft of Exile real quick. I'm going to show you the Stygian Vice because this is really good. You can get a lot of good stuff on the Stygian. So we're going for Belt. Uh, where's the Stygian Vice? Uh, shit. So for our Stygian, we want one eye level 86. That's because uh, that's just the highest eye level you want. It gives you the most plus to armor, potentially. The most to life is 64, though, so you can actually roll a lot lower stigin. I would say I wouldn't go less than 84 though because you have increased flash charges and stuff you can get on 84. <clears throat> the highest resistance is 84 too. So you could go down to 84. 86 is highest Ellie damage with attack skills. And you really kind of want to potentially get that just to have it on the belt. Just for, just for funsies. If you're solo self found though, use 84. Uh, I'm going to play in just a second.
Anyway, I'm not going to go for that. I was going to pull up a window, but it's not. Anyway, we'll just go back to this. So yeah, the Stygian you just craft with pristine prismatic or your chosen element fossil. You get really good life plus resistance results. And like I said, you want a Stygian vice for really good ghastly jewels, which the ghastly jewels you want percent taunt and percent blind on hit affixes. Other good things, damage, speed, attack, speed for minions, life resistance. Uh, getting blind and taunt on both one jewel is ideal. And the best way to do that is to craft it with harvest. So you craft with, let me capitalize that, you craft with attack. So you craft for that tag. Both taunt, both taunt and blind on hit have the tag attack. So in harvest you can uh, reforge or reforge plus attack and get that really easily. For the cluster jewels, there's two ways of doing this. You can roll just critical and hope for, to get renewal with the vicious bot. You'll get the vicious bot. Pretty much every, I think every time. I think that's the only critical actually on there. So I think you'll guarantee get this every time. And then just keep rolling that until you get plus renewal. That's going to be your best option. Because renewal is best for your minions defense. Pretty much. It's the best passive you can get on these cluster jewels pretty much. By itself. And then Vicious, vicious Bite's really good. You can also, what I did though for Rotten Claws and Call to Slaughter. Is I rolled with attack. Rolled with attack. Uh, critical. But yes, rolling with critical is probably better. That's what I would do. For 3.19, that's what I'll do. I'll run through and do critical first. Because this is good for, I mean, this is good for a multitude of things. I feel like Rotten Cause is more for zombies.